Good evening. Welcome to our Fat Tuesday devotions. We begin with a short introduction. As Jesus came down the Mount of Transfiguration with his disciples, he continued his journey to the cross. Tonight we acknowledge that we must join him in his journey. We come to God as we are. We come with a history of rights and wrongs. We come with a past of shaky discipleship. We come with the checkered mixture called life. We long to stay with what is familiar, to cling to the comfortable, the predictable, to hold on to the past, however painful, to find our security in a world of our own making. But God calls us to move on, to enter the place of reflection and change, to be confronted and challenged with reality, to encounter the life-giving presence within. Having sung our farewell to Alleluia, I invite you, if you are willing, to make a card or a paper or a banner of some sort with the word Alleluia on it, and then to decorate it and to hide it or put it away for this season of Lent. We will not sing or say the word Alleluia in worship until Easter Sunday when we celebrate the joy of the resurrection. And so I invite you to set this aside for 40 days. Put it somewhere safe, not too safe, so that you can bring it back out during our Easter morning celebration. And now a reading from Scripture. This is from the Old Testament book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9. For I have thought of all this, how good and wise people and their works are in the hand of God. People do not know if love or hate is waiting for them. It is the same for all. The same thing will happen to people regardless of their conduct. The same thing will happen to those who are clean and those who are unclean, and to those who approach the altar and those who do not. As the one who strives for justice is, so is the unjust one. As the one who strives for mercy is, so is the unmerciful one. This is a sorrowful thing, that the same thing happens to all people. The hearts of people are unsettled and inconstant all their lives, and then they join the dead. But there is still hope for someone who is living. A live dog is better off than a dead lion. For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing. They will receive nothing further, and eventually they are forgotten. Their love and hate and desire are gone, and they no longer have a part in what is done under the sun. Therefore, go. Eat your bread in happiness. Drink your wine with a glad heart, for God has seen you strive after good works and is pleased. Do not put on clothes for mourning, and let there always be oil on your head. Enjoy life with those you love all the days of your life, for soon enough they will be over. God has given you these days under the sun. 
This is the good you will get in life and in your work which you have done under the sun. Here ends the reading. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>